Hey guys, what's going on? Nick here with Nick's Cut and Range. I uh, want to go ahead and extend an apology for, for one, not uploading in a while. I've had a lot of stuff going on. My uh, grandfather hasn't been doing too well health-wise. and I've also started a new job working at a Ford dealership. So, without further ado, I wanted to kind of get into making another video, plus a little update video as well. Um, so, I'm going to be cleaning the Glock 43X today. I've shot it quite a few times. And I'm just going to go ahead and break down the procedures of what I like to do, how I like to do it, and how I prefer to go about it. So without further ado, let's get to it. So the first thing is first, guys, what you want to do is make sure that your gun is completely empty and clear. There's nothing inside of the gun. I've read it back a few times. Nothing inside of the firearm. Discharge firearm in a safe location. Now, in order to break the 43X down, what you're going to do is pull back about a quarter of the way here. Pull down on these two little levers right here, one on each side. Let it fly forward a little bit. And then you pull your trigger. And it'll slide right off. Like so. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to take the recoil rod out. Be very careful with this. Very gentle. We're going to go ahead and set it down over here real quick. Take our barrel out. Examine the barrel. Make sure there's probably going to be some lint up in here. Mm, just a little bit. All right. And we are going to examine the upper to our pistol. We got a little bit of grunge in there. Could use some cleaning. And go ahead and take your lower. Examine your lower pretty decent. Make sure that everything is good to fit. So I'm going to use the little brush that comes in the Glock kit itself. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to run this brush through the barrel a few times. This is what I like to do. You guys might do it a little different, but this is just my preferred method. I run it twice one direction, then the opposite direction, I run it twice. Just like with any other gun, I'm going to clean or done. So what I like to do then, a little squirt here of the Remington gun oil spray down on there and run it back and forth a few times just to kind of give it a good little coating on the inside here and you guys can use whatever you like i just like using remington gun oil i've got a couple cans of this stuff it's really good stuff what i like to do is i like spray a little bit on the outside and just take my finger and rub it along the barrel here give it a good generous coating trying to prevent any rust form on the barrel whatsoever now next thing we're going to do we're going to take our upper right here usually keep a q-tip handy and what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by where the barrel rests inside of this upper i'm going to get all the grunge out being very gentle we're going to along the slide locks themselves bring it all the way to the back and look how much has already come off you guys it's a good bit And once you get toward the rear, be very careful you strike it right here. Just give a very light rub here. Q-tip, whatever you're using. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the Remington gun oil or whatever penetrant flash lubricant you guys are using. Just a few sprints. All right, and now we're good and lubricated. Everything has a good coating on it. Now, typically what you do with the uppers on these things, you just put a couple drops of lubricant right here on the sly locks themselves. So I usually don't do that though, because I like my gun to be clean, pristine, all of those good things. Now we're gonna take our lower and doing the same thing we did on the upper, work our way from the top Get all in these nooks and crannies here. And just give it a good wipe down. Now this is my everyday carry, so there's probably gonna be a good bit of lint and hair and things of that nature. Oh yeah. 
It's already looking a lot better, you guys. And this is how it looks now. Not much on there. Now, as per Glock manual states, you should only put a couple drops of lubricant at the rear sear. So I'll give it a good little sprint. And I typically just sprint a little bit right here on this trigger bar. And a little bit on the slide lock itself. So, here's what we're going to do. We are going to take our barrel and our upper. We are going to take the barrel, insert it into the upper right here. Like so. Now, you can either lubricate your recoil rod and spring if you prefer. Um, you really don't have to because any lubricants you have on your slide and your barrel are just going to fall right down into the recoil rod and spring whenever you're firing. However, me being me, I'm going to take a couple sprints and just give it a good general coating. Once that's completed, you will insert it like so. It's kind of hard to do. Now you guys can see. And there you go. Now it's back together. So, take your lower, your upper. Make sure you get them just right. As you can see, there's little guides right here. It guides along, and you can get it kind of cocked sideways. Make sure it gets all the way to the rear. Cock it back a few times. And discharge the weapon in a safe direction. One last check. There you go. It's good and clean. Ready to go. Now, what I like to do is I usually take a rag or something of that nature. And I will actually wipe the outside of the firearm down. But since I actually have oil on my hand, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it down with my hand real quick. And that's how it looks. And it actually feels a lot better now that I've cleaned it. And this is my everyday carry, so it is definitely going to get dirty from time to time, you guys. So, just a little quick video. I want to show you guys my process and how I break down my 43X, how I clean it and everything. And I hope this might help you guys out in the future if you find yourself in a predicament of cleaning one of these things. So, I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay tuned. I'm going to be posting a couple videos here shortly. Um, I'm going to get back on to the uploading train, you guys. But, like I said, that's how I break it down, clean it. Hope you guys have a good one.